What's up guys? Matt Downs here with Trick Tens. Today, I'm gonna show you how to change the oil in your 75, 90, and 115 mercury outboard, and also how to change the lower gear case oil. All right, so this hose is actually a little bit big for what I'm trying to do with it, but I'm hoping it'll work. Um, you have a fitting on the side right here that's made for a, I think it's a half inch hose. It's a three quarter. But you loosen this up a little bit and the oil should come out. I can hook this on here and stick this in my bucket. And it'll drain into my bucket. Pretty tight. Try to open it up. It's enough to get the oil flowing. There you go. Makes it nice and easy and clean. While that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and remove our filter. Just right here. Put a new filter in here. All right, so we're going to replace this filter with a new filter. Um, probably wondering why is the Yamaha filter going on to a mercury outboard and I can tell you it's because this is actually a Yamaha um, all of the boat manufacturers such as Suzuki, Tahatsu, Mercury and Yamaha they kind of take turns building certain slot motors instead of them having to make two dozen motors from a two up to a 250 or a 450 what they do is maybe Suzuki might build you know the, the two through 30s and then Mercury builds a 30 through 90 vice versa whatever this year is a 2015 this is actually a power head it's identical to the yamaha they slapped the mercury sticker on it and call it a mercury but um anyways i kind of like yamaha products better so i use yamaha products plus i get a discount my local marina doesn't sell mercury they sell yamaha and suzuki parts what you want to do is put a little bit of oil around here this one's actually greased a little bit already all right, you can see there's a little tray here um, catches the oil it's pretty cool keeps it from making a mess everywhere i'm just gonna take a rag and wipe up the rest of this oil before i put the new filter in there I'll get this hand tight and then crank it one good quarter half turn with ah, with a little bit of force and that's really all you need Make sure that's nice and tight the rest of that oil off there I'm gonna put the new oil in new oil goes right up on the top right here Once again, Yamaha oil. Let's check our oil level. Looks pretty good. All right guys, it's that simple. That's how you change the oil in your 75, 90, or 115 Mercury outboard. I'm gonna change this lower gear case oil next. All right, so now I'm gonna change the lower engine gear oil. Um, it's a little bit different on this motor than a lot of other motors because you have to remove the prop and there's a 10 millimeter bolt inside of there that's the drain for it. So I'm gonna jack this motor up, take the prop off. One thing you have to remember, Please, before you ever mess with the prop, make sure that your kill switch is in off position. I have heard stories of people cranking this thing and automatically starting the motor, kind of like a pull string, it's like a kickstart. It's very dangerous. This propeller comes on, you cut your fingers right off. There's a little washer plate in here, some tabs on it. You have to bend these out. Now 
now we can remove our nut. I like to keep all this stuff together. That way I know exactly how to put it back in. Make things easier though. All right. All right, right here in the center, there is a 10 millimeter socket. It also has a flathead screwdriver in it. It's a lot easier if you have the socket. gonna break it break it free and then I'll drop it down and take it all the way out pretty loose already the motor all the way down on here it's good to replace that too all right so there's no oil coming out that's because it's air locked in there we're gonna take the screw out on this side and the oil should dump out all right so Oil's drained out, made a little bit of a mess here, but it's okay. We got our Yamaha Marine gear case lube oil here. Um, this pump, very simple, it's like 10 bucks. What we're gonna do, got thread it in on it. We're gonna thread it in to our bolt hole for the bottom drain. Now we're gonna pump this oil in here so it comes out of our top hole over here. Then we're gonna put that top one in after the oil gets up to it. Remove this, put the plug back in. Now we're gonna reinstall our prop. Now we gotta plug those little tabs over. All those do is they lock up against the nut to keep it from backing out. All right, that's it. It's pretty simple stuff. A little dirty, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. I hope you guys learned something in this video. Maybe make it a little easier for you. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Got a bunch of other DIY videos I'm gonna be dropping on the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to me to get back to work.